Hi guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about Shani for Christ. I don't have the option to do 10 minute videos anymore, just three, so I'm going to try and wrap this up in one disgusting vile package for you as quick as possible. I'm going to be particularly covering the home in which Shani allowed her two children to live in. The home that she festered. For those who don't know Shani, I envy you. But she is a YouTuber that has been kicked off the platform so many times and continues to make new accounts to ban evade and ebeg for money. Shani met Rev and managed to wrangle him in somehow, him and his 750,000 inheritance, which they blew through within three years. Our story begins with Shani and Rev just after that 750,000 had dried up and they are forced to evict their home. The home that they share with Shani's two children, Rev is not their biological father, one of who is autistic and that matters. I believe the children around this time are 12 and 14, but don't take my word for it. Now, you may see this photo and feel sorry for Rev and the fact that she swindled him out of nearly a million dollars, but don't. You'll see why. So after being evicted, she decides to livestream the entire journey from one state that they lived in to the new one. I don't know the exact state. I'm not American. Sorry. But this is what they say while they're live streaming. The garage door at our address is open. Anybody in Colorado that's near it, go in and get anything you can. There's tons of stuff that's worth it. That's exactly what happened. Within a few hours of them leaving the house, someone was in there and decided to record the state it was in. They were told to not touch anything and just, for the internet's purposes, show us the inside. Trigger warning if you're eating. Stop. When you walk in, the first smell is feces. But it looks like to be blood on the wall. Dried up quite a bit of it. Yeah, that's blood. We're not off to a good start, are we, Shani? The smell of feces and blood on the wall from when you regularly beat your partner. Let's check the kitchen. I mean, that looks at least an inch thick. I believe this would be mouldy food, which honestly impresses me. Someone like Shani can have food around long enough to even go mouldy. Congratulations. We're gonna move on to the kids' bedroom. I believe this is the oldest child. I believe the guinea pigs were kept in his room here. You can see the bedding and what I believe to be guinea pig feces on the floor. This is the bed he slept in. Take that in for a second. This is the bed Shani let her son sleep in. And again, the guy recording continues to tell us that there's an overwhelming smell of feces and urine. Note how little furniture the kids had. He eventually does find the source of the smell. Three minutes is almost up. Part two will be up right away to continue exploring Shani's house of horrors. A reminder as to why I'm doing this. This woman still has a platform and is still e-begging and getting money to support herself. This is part two of us exploring Shani's house of horrors. Please see the first part, otherwise you're going to be confused. We just left off where the guy recording the inside of the house for us has just located what he believes to be the source of the horrific smell. No, it's not Shani. She's not in there anymore. Gosh, don't be so rude. And again, massive trigger warning. For a lot, stop eating. I gotta hold my breath in here because I can smell this is where it's coming from. They've left the bathroom lights on and the uh, vent um, here. It's just god awful. They haven't cleaned this litter box at all. Apologies, I must have forgotten to mention that they also share this house with two cats. Next, the parents' room. Keep in mind the barrenness of their children's room. This is the bedroom of a 14-year-old. And this is Shani and Rev's love nest. Take notice that there's actual furniture in the room. This is where they spent most of their time. They even had a mini fridge, a microwave, and a hot plate in their room so they never had to leave. This is where they would live stream for hours a day. Also where they'd record their OnlyFans content while the children were home. They're loud. Only fans content with the children in the next room. Shani's bathroom sink. Tell me, Shani, how are you brushing your teeth? Sorry, my bad. What's there to brush? Am I right? A closet in their room. These are clothes piled up. Look how high they come up on the door. And now we're about to see the bedroom of the autistic child. And this one just breaks my heart. So firstly, he has a lot of plushy toys um, that got left behind. I do believe some subscribers of Shani and Rev bought some of these toys for him. Smells like piss. I couldn't. I don't know if you can see in the clip, but it almost looks like he's sleeping on an air mattress. I don't know if it is one. It does look like that, however. And the guy in the clip says there's an overwhelming smell of piss. And now we're going to look at the autistic child's bathroom. I keep saying that because this is a child that obviously needs slightly more special care, and this is how he's being treated. 
And remember when I said, don't feel sorry for... This is him here. Shani currently doesn't have her children because he decided to kick her autistic child and they were removed from her care. Thank fuck. He states there's no light in the bathroom and so he has to use his phone torch, the, the guy who's recording the video. Trigger warning if you're eating. This is the bathroom of a child. This is his sink. Keep in mind, I think this child is 12. Me and Rev, why is your house like this? Everyone saw how disgusting a disarrayed house was when we were trying to to get everything out of it that we could. Do you know the state of a house when you have like two days to move? I didn't know it took two days to level this amount of meth. Let's finish the video with Shani crying because it feeds my soul. <laughs>